Hey guys, what's up? This is Jared Talking. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the Romancing Saga Universe. We'll be talking about the Ruins Exploration, that it's having a new campaign of half stamina. This is like the perfect moment to farm lots of stuff, and I will explain why. Uh, we also having Ruins Exploration missions. We'll be talking about this as well. So this is the perfect time to farm for status, for uh, Gloundstones, and also for gold. Yeah. It's the best place for you to find for gold. And I'll explain this. Just follow me on this. Let me close here. Uh, let's click on quests. So we can talk about why I think it's the best uh, place to farm. On the left side of the image you see here we have uh, the Lurking Shadows um, stage. Because, you know, Lurking Shadows is like the best place to farm. Even now when we have the chapter 6, I still believe that is the best one to farm. Because only two more points on status just... Uh, won't give you much difference because you have to mantle most of the stages on chapter 6 hard to to follow on now to just switch your main squad um, I still believe that you should be trying to raise more characters instead of just following one main squad so let's see uh, first of all let's just click here on limited time ability this time we have a different thing uh, all the time when they release new characters we have featured uh, double gains for their status you see we have Noel and Azami here Azami and Noel share uh, the new banner, so they will get double gains. And it's the first time that you see that they also added Ruins Exploration areas as well. Usually they only uh, add the event or the story mode. So now we have this on Ruins as well. So if you have Azami, please bring her here. Just try to get her maxed and all the status. No, even if you don't plan on summoning for him, you will know that uh, when you get him, Having him already maxed will be nice, and he is useful for quite a lot of time in my opinion. His kit is very interesting, just not enough for me to <laughs> sumo for him right now. So let me close this, and you'll see, uh, when we click her on ruins, you can choose either three ground stones or pierce ground stones. Today uh, is the day for pierce ground stones, this is why I'm using this. Um, something very interesting about this event is that, uh, starting from stage number 7, up to stage number 10, the Grout Hate is the same. You will see the same sparks in your characters uh, on any one of these four levels. In stage number 7, we have you more Valui, because it gives um, the same Grout Hates by less Stamina Coast. Only 7 points of Stamina Coast. That's just why I used that image on the left to show you that even when we have half Stamina for Story Mode, it will be 9 Stamina Coast. This here is 7. For the same Grout Hates as Lurking Shadows, you will only be missing out on your Terries, but maybe you already have way too many Terries because you farmed away too many uh, stages uh, for Lurking Shadows. So Pierce Ruins number 7 is the best place for you to farm today, on, um, but depends on the day. Can be any of the Glound Stones. So, uh, uh, not just that, I have some other things that, uh, uh, why I say that this is the best place to farm. Let's see here, this image here. Uh, you can see that Lurking Shadow does not drop gold. Uh, you can see that there's no gold here. And Pierce Ruins does drop gold. Let's just see other image here. You can see, yeah, I'm getting 900, uh, around 900 gold. I'm using Cat, and this is why um, I'm farming for a lot of stuff here. I'm farming for status, I'm farming for Gloundstones, because I always need Gloundstones, and I also farm for gold. And uh, with a reduced stamina cost means that sometimes you can even loop with your energy trying to farm for everything at the same time. So this is why I say this is the perfect time for you to farm it. It lasts for a whole week, so you can also choose well which characters you want to farm. I will just give a run here on stage number 7 so you can see how it is. It's not hard because number 7 is very easy in my opinion. Um, let's just go here. I'll leave this image here on the left. Uh, I'm using here Azami, Cat and Terry because I want to Evolved in. I want to have uh, three uh, martial artists squad just because some formations are very nice for them. This one as well. There are lots of uh, formations that increases agility and they always get stronger with agility. You see Azami on the front lines on this specific uh, formation will give her a lot of damage. A lot of damage. <laughs> Even Terry is getting a lot of damage. You see? 6000 damage. And the other two characters on the back lines are just here because I uh, don't think they will be featured anytime soon. So, when characters get featured, they usually get featured for story mode, double gains on story mode. But now we have double gains for ruins. So, this is why uh, it's better to just try to get status for them now. Mikael will get another SS style, but it takes just so much time that it's good to just have him up and running right now. Because I can use him alongside Monica for pierce damage. 
And you, like I said, I want to have three damage dealers from each type. You need at least two. But three is enough. And now we have Robin, Mikhail, and Monica. Christmas Monica. These three will be my main damage dealers for Pierce. And these other three will be my main damage dealers for uh, Blunt. But I also want to have uh, different types of Blunt because this Blunt is based on agility and I will have Guinea that is exactly based on STR. So you can see here on my screen right now we have the same values for gold. Uh, there is a little variance sometimes. And we're getting uh, the three types of Clown Stones. You have lower chances of getting SS's, it's okay. Because you use less assassins. And A, you use more and you're getting more. And S, you're getting uh, middle range. And it's exactly what you use. You use this on middle range. So stage number 7 is exactly the best one when you're farming for equipments. And also farming here for quite a lot of time. You mean that in the future you won't ever need to run ruins again unless it's half stamina again. You see? You are kind of hopping off by farming when is best time and the best time now is to farm this and when the story is best uh, again because of the half stamina you drop uh, you just uh, farm there again so uh let me just click here on next and i want to talk a little more about this and just look at my gold you will see how much gold i get uh, just by running this i already farmed like 400 thousand gold just by running uh ruins and this is like um 13 hours since the, the event started, so very, very, very nice. Uh, another thing I want to give a hint of, uh, to you guys is just that now is the perfect time to raise some characters, because uh, some of those that will get banners in the future, you can wait for their double gains, but some of them will never get double gains, like Robin. Robin or Terry will never get double gains, at least I think they won't. Maybe um, uh, I didn't did my research this on this yet. Some other characters won't get because they won't have another version no, uh, anytime soon. Like say Julian would take just so much time to get another version that maybe now is a good time to just get status. Actor will get another version when we get the New Year's banner, but uh, Monica will take lots of time to get another one. We see uh, Guinea will also take lots of time, Rupina will take lots of time, Geralt will never get another one, so this is another good time for you to evolve him, Grey will get one, Aoi will never get one, so Aoi is good as well, uh, maybe Aoi will get another style, but not another SS style, uh, Aisha will take just so much time, Thomas as well, so some characters here will just... Uh, Barbara, no, Barbara will get another... Uh, a featured banner and then she will get double gain so you can wait but some of these characters will just not have another uh, double gains anytime soon so it's good to just use them on ruins and when you have double gains for story just try to bring the featured characters when we have the double gains for them because it's always for story not always for ruins so this is it guys i think this is helps uh also let's just give a look on the the missions we got some missions as well Let me cancel, click back. They give us some missions to just play through ruins. They know that this is the best time to farm and they are giving us more incentive. Click here on missions, click on specials, you can see that we are getting some stamina potions. I also believe this is the best moment for you to start using your stamina potions. I will use all of mine, because I really believe this is very good. Awakening System also spends lots of gold, so getting lots of gold here will save you lots of problems uh, by using gold and... Like I said, it's just nice. You see, we can also do some other stuff like evolving equipment, because you are getting <laughs> stuff to evolve equipment. And, but the most important are the stamina potions. You all, um, If you are not uh, with a large stock of stamina potions, you can get more by going through the Monster Field Crave shop. There are stamina potions there. I will use all of mine. Uh, let's click here. Daily. Then we have Monster Field Crave. Here on Exchange. You have some stamina potions here. The other ones that you can get are actually on the white crystal exchange. But in order to do so, you have to sell some of your pieces. I recommend you guys some, uh, selling only A pieces, because those you can get easily in the future. But the S style pieces, you should save those because they are more hair. And you want to have even all your S styles to level 42. So save up on that. Let me go here on exchange. Uh, this shop here, the... White Crystal Shop will reset monthly, so try to get some stamina potions from here if you really need to keep the farming going, because, like I said, the best time. Every day changes, uh, switch out your um, Glowstone's type, 
so you can have from all your weapon types and all your damage types. Well, this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to support this channel, you can do so by using the Patreon, PayPal or Coffee, put us on the description. And we see each other on the next video. Bye.